Okay, we made it to one of my favourite spots in the world. Never thought I'd be back here. Port La Hunt or Point Sinclair Jetty. Cactus Beach here at Penong. Car did okay on the bumpy road. A few little uh, going back up. It almost got the bottom, but I think we'll be okay. And we are having Pizza for breakfast. Pizza for breakfast. And unfortunately there's some people here who don't have it all to myself. But uh, that's life. I think it is, it is school holidays in South Australia. I'll let the twig out. Twig out. There she goes. Just beautiful here. Amazing. Very cool. Here we are, the old spot. I used to camp here too back in the day. Some local girls camp the night. It's school holidays, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They're local, their parents run the Cactus Campground. They knew people from Kangaroo Island. So there's the jetty. Point Sinclair, we'll go to the end of the jetty. Always remember this, it always struck home with me. This is it. Twiggy, 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 come here, don't go in the water. She's trying to go in the water. This area has been dedicated to the memory of Wade Gray Shippard aged 11 whose life was lost as a result of a shark attack on 7th of February 1975 erected by his friends and there's a picture 1975 Wade Gray Shepherd he's swimming out to a trawler done it many times before getting fresh crayfish for his mother on the way out to the boat he encountered a white pointer watched helplessly as the young man was brutally attacked It'd be the shark had been in the bay for approximately a week taking fish from nets. The trading was a huge shock to the community. The family was well known and especially popular. But they'd been trouble with sharks so close. Twiggy, 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 come, don't go into the water, please. The outcome of this disaster was the construction of the shark proof swimming enclosure. Here we have the shark proof enclosure there. You can go swimming. There's a wreck over there, you can just see in the distance. The Cecilia. 1873, I was built in 1873. Met her fate Thursday night on the 4th of October, 1946. She'd come for shark fishing. Wow. The jetty. <laughs> That's the other, that's the real swimming enclosure there. Not that one, that's just the end, other end of it. But yeah, a little diving platform. Really good fishing off this jetty. Garfish, salmon. But I used to go for Mulloway. That was my main target species. Off the beach. 
Okay, we made it to the end of the jetty. And again, this makes me want to go fishing. It's just uh, such a nice spot. The cliffs and everything. Yeah, really cool. Twig? So yeah, I would, would have come here pretty much once every few months, I'd say, in 2000 to 2006, so 20 years ago. It's just the same as I remember it. Used to camp at Long Beach down the other side there. Tuckamore was my other favourite spot on the end of the beach. Take the Hilux for a week, and my other border collie, Stella. And just go camp on the beach, catch fish, eat fish, make a fire every night, sleep in the swag. I even did it in the really hot months and I just slept under the car, put the swag under the car in the shade. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice spot, really nice spot. Alright, four wheel driving with the Polestar, here we go. See you Jetty, maybe I'll be back one day. Up the hill. I'm glad the <coughs> Polestar has a little bit of clearance. Um, because I'm oh, not quite scraping the bottom because I don't see any any um, scrapage from the way down. So we're doing pretty good actually. Just wind the window down. Oh. Up we go up the hill. There you can see the view. to Sejuna. Charge up, streaky, Elliston, just take our time and enjoy. <laughs>
Tin Station in Sejuna. That's a huge speed bump. Huge speed bump. Quarantine checkpoint. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, we've arrived. Sejuna. Sejuna RAA. And with 44, I doubt whether we'll get 120, but uh, we will see. We will see. So we open and open the port, <laughs> the charging magic dock. Hold the camera steady, Nobber. All right, we've opened the charging port. Getting out the RFID card. We will get the charging device. Get the handshake, we just heard it. Doom doom doom. Checking tag. Authenticated. Alright, we connected and up she's ramping. Oh, this is so good to have this after the last charger, fast charger. 28, 29, we're at 44. 35, let's go and sit in the car. There we go, charge doing up. Alright, here we go, 88, 93, 100, 100. Whoa, that was. Oh, 120, 121, 123, 125, 126. So we're charged to 80. 126, 127. If only we got this on the Nullarbor. 127. Finish in 20 minutes, 126 because it's 120, it's 1 o'clock. Going from 44 to 80. <clears throat> 44 to 80 in 20 minutes. 126 maximals. Very good. What do you reckon, Twig? Good charging, eh? 126. There we go. Alright, it ramped down to, I wasn't really paying attention, I took a, a work, excuse me, phone call. So we were getting 126 and it, I think it usually ramps down at about 70, um, down to 85. Um, so it's 113 and we're going to finish at 123. So that'll be, uh, I don't know, I just didn't know when it started. Um, because someone asked me to notify that note about the time, how long it takes. Ramping down, 70, 67, 64, 63, 62, 61. Shades of the Nullarbor, <laughs> ramping down. All right, so that hopefully it sits on 60 for a while. We're at 73, we only need 7 more percent. And that last 7% will take 10 minutes. But I'm pretty sure we got here at about 1 o'clock exact. All right. This peace out. Go the two. Go the twig. Alright, we ramped all the way down to 40. Well, it was actually 43. It's gone up briefly to 44. At 79. So we're at 80 and it took it's saying 25, 125 for the last percent. Done! Ha <laughs> ha! You watched it, you saw it. So that was exactly 20 minutes to go from 44 to 80. And that gave us 380 kilometers. That's fast highway cranking 110 speeds. And let's go and unplug her. So this is how you unplug. Push the button, flash, flash, flash. Wait for it to unhandshake. If it handshakes, how do you unhandshake? Green, green, green. Pull out, pull out, pull out, she said. Okay, in. Uh, 
Thank you, RAA, RAA for the win, RAA for the win. Now, always forget to close your flap. Close the flap. Make sure to close the flap. Hey, RAA for the win. Let's go to Streaky Bay for the day.